hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to another of our pregnancy symptoms slash update so for this week we are doing week 13 through week 15 of my pregnancy symptoms for baby number three for this week 13 my symptoms were every day like they were almost the same every day so you won't see me saying week 13 day one and two because everything was happening simultaneously so i had low sex drive because uh, there's nothing like that even in my normal days i'm a happening babe you know there are days when i'm the one looking for my husband it's a good thing though know? nobody should deceive you that you should be there let only your husband be looking for you men love it when you desire them and there's nothing like that even when my husband is trying to make advance i'm like is this one okay or he's just trying to be high <laughs> <laughs> because this baby is not feeling you, you can just chill. <laughs> so I have loss of appetite. This one is even my nickname now, so I don't know why I wrote it, but there was no appetite. And then vomiting had reduced as far as I was chewing ginger. Anytime I'm chewing ginger, I will not throw up. I keep swallowing my saliva and then it keeps giving me that hot sensation and then it relieves me from throwing up. I was constantly on ginger throughout my week 13. I had serious leg cramp. You see me, I'm walking and limping. Even my children, my baby, the small one, Eliana will be walking like me. <laughs> she thinks it's play. Then Elijah will keep, mommy, what is it? Sit on my bike, let me take you. I'm like, hmm? <laughs> As you sit on your bike, you know, I had my pimples were increasing. My husband would just sit me down, be breaking them, applying things so that it will go. But the more he breaks, the more they come back. These pimples are not like normal pimples. Once you break them, they come back and they are very hard. And it's not pause that it's inside. This one is water. Once you break, they come back. So they make me, I became so black. And then I was so bloated throughout this week. If it's in the daytime, I'm like, I'm five months pregnant. Early morning, my stomach goes down. That one happens to a lot of pregnant women, even though it didn't used to happen to me that much, but this one. And then if you hear me fat, oh my goodness. Even though it was not smelling bad, but the sound. <coughs> even me, I was supposed to laughter. <laughs> my husband just shake his head and say, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> oh. This pregnancy has used me to do momo. <laughs> and then I was becoming so tired. You see me napping every afternoon, at least for one hour. I will sit and then my eyes will just close and I'm... Once it's one hour, my eyes will open on its own and then I'll have energy again. Week 14, day one to three, I had bleeding gums every day as far as I'm brushing. Once I start brushing, my gums will be bleeding. I had those symptoms during Eliana's pregnancy as well. And then week 14, four days, I started drinking room temperature water. Hey, hey, hey this was... This was called for celebration. For the first time in the pregnancy, I could drink room temperature water. Not warm, not hot, but very little, very little. But it was a massive progress for me that I could go to my fridge and remove water that is not so cold and then drink on my own. Then week 14 and day 5, I noticed my appetite had increased a bit and then my food aversion had reduced small then week 14 and day 6 i had more strength i was a bit energetic i was so excited the whole of that day my vaginal discharge had increased uh, not itching not the infection vaginal discharge just normal vaginal discharge creamy white watery coming out like that and then 14 weeks and six days, I didn't take my bath. I was so cold. The whole of that day, I could not take my bath. My husband asked me in the evening, I didn't see you taking your bath today. I said, and I'm not going to take. <laughs> it's true, I didn't take my bath. I'm not going to take my bath. So I went to the bathroom, removed my pants, did my seat bath, wash myself down there, and then clean myself very well. I went to sleep on my bed. 15 weeks day one, I woke up so tired and hungry because my baby girl was pudgy. So 
I had little to no rest for a few days. So I was always tired for these few days. And then um, vaginal discharge tea came out plenty. And then 15 weeks, day two, I had serious leg cramps. These leg cramps happened to me in all my pregnancies, like my hips are expanding. So once I sit and I want to stand up, I will limp for like five minutes straight before I start walking normal. And it increases as the pregnancy progresses. And then on these 15 days and day two, I still didn't take my bath. That is me not taking my bath two days straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness on this day i didn't want my husband to know that i did not take my bath because he said i should just go and manage let the water be very hot and believe me i didn't want to hear that because i knew how i was feeling in my body so i felt so bad in my body that i just wanted to be my tea then 15 weeks day three i had uh, breast pain and breast itchiness and then i continued chewing my ginger so that i don't throw up my breast were itching and painful at the same time not my nipple inside of my breast would just be aching but i knew that that was my breast trying to expand a bit again so that was nothing to worry about and then uh, anytime i eat food by this time i could eat a little but then i'll be on ginger and very little water after like 10 minutes to 15 minutes after eating 15 weeks day four i was so cold even though it was one of my lucky days <laughs> <laughs> it was one of my lucky days to have taken my bath and then going into the sun and enjoying myself. I went downstairs for the first time in a whole week. I sat outside with my children. I was so happy. I just took walks and I felt so good in my body. You feel so good when you take your bath. When you don't take your bath for a day or two, when you take your bath, it's as if they've renewed you. I was so feeling so light that day. And in 15 weeks, day five, I had a lot of breathlessness. I was so tired throughout the day and then throughout the pregnancy, I think that was the day I felt so low in tiredness. It was, I thought I had low blood count, the way I felt in my body. The 15 weeks and six days, I threw up a lot. I was hungry throughout the day, but I couldn't eat anything. I had itchy breasts, painful breasts. I had bleeding gone while brushing my teeth, and then my belly was so itchy. I scratched my belly to the extent that I could see small, small blood. I could see my skin peeling, but I couldn't stop because it was so itchy that day. So that was it for our 13 through week 15 pregnancy update. So please comment down below let us know if you are 15 weeks or 13 weeks or 14 weeks pregnant let's know how you feel in your body or if you have anybody going through these symptoms just let them know it's normal or if you are the one having this kind of symptom just know that they are normal so please don't forget to subscribe turn on post notification because here on this channel we post about fertility tips health tips pregnancy updates whenever i'm pregnant because i'm still going to give birth again don't think baby number three is my last if you want to stop here, well done. But personally, <laughs> I'm just starting. <laughs> well, I'm not just starting, no. I'm almost done, but I'm still going again. And then when I have a baby, we'll talk about baby development, my development and all that. We talk about womanhood, how to develop as a woman, businesses women can do in the society, health tips and everything in between. So please, I know you love this kind of content. So stay tuned and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.